Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, our Geofront Sea Sector exploration to bring us to the terminal that Jonah desired led us into a trap possibly set by Ouroboros as we fought the giant robot Torso Z, defeating it to bring Jonah to his goal as Chapter 4 Day 1 came to an end. With time passing in which Crossbell declared its independence, we now begin the second day with more news. More papers? <laughs> Breaking news, Mayor Croix declares asset freeze. Wait, what? That's on who? Today, Mayor Croix held an emergency press conference at Orcus Tower to announce that all foreign assets held by the IBC would be frozen. This policy will remain in place until Croswell's independence is acknowledged internationally. Oh my god. You're attacking every nation monetarily. That is just going to result in bad times. Oh, shoot. This sudden declaration seems to indicate that the mayor, who also happens to be the IBC CEO, is willing to exert his influence on foreign economies despite lacking the domestic authority to do so. Due to the sudden nature of Coyce's press conference, further details remain unknown. Before funds were seized, the IBC managed the majority of the continent's financial assets. The sudden withholding of said assets has caused markets across the Maria to plummet, with some reports describing mass pandemonium in the Republican Stock Exchange. We reached out to experts for comment. Already, the impact on the international economy has been immense, explained one economist. It's difficult to tell how things will progress. A diplomat had this to say, We want to be certain we understand the full extent of this freeze before taking further action. Urgent Bulletin, the Major Powers Ultimatum. According to a new report, both Erebonia and Calvert have held press conferences regarding the financial crisis. The Republican government demands the Crosswell State and the IBC revoke the asset freeze immediately. Failure to do so will be met with force, stated the Calvardian press secretary. Our sources claim that the Imperial government has already begun mobilizing its army as well. It's possible these press conferences are meant to serve as an ultimatum. We will follow up on this story as we receive official communications. Things have gotten pretty serious. Yes, I wasn't expecting the situation to progress so quickly. I tried contacting Uncle Deirdre to ask about it, but I haven't been able to reach him. The same applies to Chief Sergei. He has yet to return after departing for headquarters this morning. Could it be that he's investigating the newly established defense force? Probably so. After all, it came as a total shock. Not just for us, but the top brass too, or so I've been told. The hell's up with that? How could they not have known about it? What about Noel, Miriel, and the rest of them? What are they up to? Unfortunately, we are also unable to get in contact with the CGF at the moment. I suspect they have chosen to remain silent due to the sheer volume of calls they are receiving. It's hard to blame them for that, but I doubt Erebonia and Calvard will hold their tongues, seeing as all their assets have been frozen. They made it clear that they're prepared to use force. I can only imagine how tense things are at the borders right now. Sorry, Kia, this must seem so scary to you. It's okay, I could tell whatever's going on is serious. I've been wondering, though, where's Wazi? I haven't seen him all morning. Now that you mention it, he said he needed to attend to some minor business. I believe it was moments after the chief departed. Ah, uh, really? How irresponsible do you have to be to disappear at a time like this? Uh That's a weird way to sit, Zype. Someone at the door? Wonder who it is. Yes, who is it? Oh, thank goodness you're home. It's me, Cecile. Cecile? Oh, hi, Cecile. We weren't expecting you. Is everything all right? It's not every day you drop in to see us like this. I apologize for visiting out of the blue. If I may ask, Arios wouldn't happen to have come by here, would he? Arios? No, not at all. Did something happen? Well, the thing is, he came to the hospital late last night and took Shizuku away with him. He even filed the paperwork to have her discharged, effective immediately. What? He did. Shizuku. I went to the Bracer Guild to see if I could figure out why, but not even Mikkel had an answer for me. I thought it might be a long shot, but I decided to come ask all of you, just in case. So that's what brought you here. That's gone into him all of a sudden. 
The fact that it happened late at night makes it all the more dubious. Oh, I doubt it's the chief. He'd call you Enigma if he needed to reach us. Do you suppose it could have something to do with Arios? Yes, this is the Crossbell Police Special Support Sec. Oh, Lloyd, thank Adios I got a hold of you. Whoa. Someone must have left the phone on speaker mode. Grace, is that you? Who else has that kind of volume? Grace, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Of course not. Something's wrong. And I mean big time wrong. I had to tell you right away. We just got a bulleted in from Orcus Tower. You're not going to believe this. Deirdre Croix has just been instated as the first president of the independent state of Crossbell. What? The first president? Uncle Deirdre. And you're certain of this? Like hell she is. You're trying to pull a fast one on us or something. Listen, I thought it was a joke too at first, but then I took a look at the soldier delivering the news. He was decked out in this fresh white uniform. That's when he told us he was a part of Crossbell's newly formed defense force. Really? A soldier? Wait, you can't mean... Yep, he's probably a CGF guardsman. Or he was anyway. Also, don't freak out on me here, okay? But immediately after President Kreuz took his post, he nominated his secretary of defense. And it's Alios McLean. Huh? You mean... Uh... Arios? What? The presidential inauguration is just about to begin. They're broadcasting it via the Orbital Network, so make sure you tune in. Grace, we managed to get permission to cover the speech. Nice. Way to come in clutch, Reigns. Sorry, guys. I've got a feature story waiting for me. Gotta go. Is this really happening? I... I don't even know anymore. Arios is the Secretary of Defense. And that makes him the leader of this new defense force. You shit me, right? What well, happened to being a bracer? What the hell's all this about Dina becoming president? I cannot say either way, but we should watch his address on the terminal. On it. Good day, my fellow citizens. Today I speak to you as Dieter Kreuz, the first president of the independent state of Crosbell. I'm sure that many of you are surprised by this sudden announcement. Nevertheless, I ask that you bear with me. For at this very moment, an unprecedented threat is advancing upon our fair home of Crosbell. We are being cornered by wicked malicious forces that aim to strip away our dignity and trample underfoot all that is just. As I'm sure you're all aware, less than a month ago, these forces attempted to sink Crosbell into a pit of despair and sorrow. Of course, the wise citizens of Crosbell already know who it is I am referring to. I would like to take this moment to finally incriminate these perpetrators by name. The Imperial, Imperial Government of Erebonia. This is one of the malevolent forces I refer to. However, they are not the only criminals responsible for our plight. The Republican government of Calvert is just as guilty. They too will be making a mockery of our peace and honor while colluding with a known crime syndicate. For far too many years have they treated our Crosswell as theirs to control, a vassal subject to the whims of its lieges. No matter what injustices they commit, we are forbidden by law from defending ourselves. Even to this day, they exploit us through obscenely high taxes, siphoning away our prosperity as if it were their own. And yet, their transgressions do not end there. We have reached a point where our very livelihoods are placed in jeopardy. It is well known that this land had served as a war zone time and again, as these two nations fought for control over us. Many would consider that strife a thing of the past, but that could not be further from the truth. Our state has suffered a number of inexplicable incidents over the last 70 years. They befell us in many forms, sudden explosions with no discernible cause, the mysterious fatal crash of one of our airships. And yet, while they appear to be no more than accidents, deep down, all of us knew the truth. These cruel, indiscriminate tragedies that left us with no answers to soothe our mourning. All of them were caused behind closed doors by our enemies' petty struggle for power.
However, when put before Aeos, we crossbellums are equally as sinful. The sins we carry are those of cowardice and self-deception. To avenge the countless fallen souls victimized by the crimes of times past, to avenge those in the present still nursing their wounds from the raid on our city, and to ensure our children grow up in a glorious future of peace and dignity. We must discard the sins of deception and cowardice and stand valiant and proud. But this is ridiculous. Well, he does make a fair point in some respects. Dieter. It is with the intention of leading us to this brighter tomorrow that I have taken office today. But rest assured, this is only a temporary measure to respond to the urgent threats on our horizon. I here to forswear an oath that our next election will be decided by popular vote once peace is restored within our borders. With that, there is one other man I would like to introduce. He will play a key role in supporting the independent state of Crossbell. All of you here today will surely know him by name. Now, without further ado, I present you the man who stood his ground with all of his might to defend Orcus Tower during the raid. Dubbed by many as the Divine Blade of Wind, he was formerly an A rank bracer of the Bracer Guild's Crossbell branch, but now he stands as Commander in Chief of our newly established Crossbell Defense Force. Ladies and gentlemen, Arios McLean. To reiterate, I am Arios McLean. Some of you may have concerns over one as militarily inexperienced as myself assuming such an important position. However, to compensate, I pledge to give twice the effort I did as a bracer to suppress the dangers lying before us. Both as a bulwark that protects Crossbell and the blade that will slay anyone who stands in the way of our order and justice. As some of you are aware, Secretary McLean once served the Crossbell Police Department as one of its finest detectives. Though most will know him better for the numerous international incidents he has resolved as a member of the Guild. With that in mind, I assure with the utmost authority that he will be the perfect man for this job. Father, I don't understand. Lloyd speaking. It's me. Chief, the inaugural address. Yeah, I saw it too. Right or wrong, the CGF appears to have reassembled into the Crossbell Defense Force. The police is going to be integrated into it as well. That includes all of us. No way. So Commander Bell's was a part of this too. You saw her up there next to McLean, didn't you? Looks to me like she approved his formation. I don't know what will happen now, but I'd stay away from Orcus Tower. Those Defense Force soldiers are likely to be keeping it under strict watch. Damn it. Understood. I'll call you again. Don't do anything rash. Am I clear? What did the Chief say? It was about the Defense Force. Lloyd explained the details of his conversation with Chief Sergei. I see. Damn it. You're telling me Sonia's just going along with this? Considering her position, it could very well be that she had no say in the matter. This would explain why Ariel said Shizuku discharged from the hospital so suddenly. Oh, that makes sense. His new position would have impacted her situation. Save it to keep her away from anyone that opposes the new setup, yeah? It is hard to discount that line of reasoning after what we've just learned. It's going to be all right, Kia. I'm sure Ariel's is doing whatever he can to keep Shizuku safe. Yeah, I know. Still, I'm worried about her. Kia... Sorry, Cecil, but could we ask you to man the fort here for a bit? Lloyd? I have no qualms with it, so long as you don't stay out past evening. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Listen up, team. I think our best course of action is to make our way to the Bracer Guild, first and foremost. I yes, that would be wise. That would, be that would present a good opportunity to ask about Ariosa's circumstances. No kidding. That came way the hell out of left field. I understand. I'll stay here and watch the building with Kia. The situation has gotten quite dire, so please be safe out there. Don't do anything too reckless, okay? Yeah, we'll try. Thanks, Cecil. We'll be back as soon as we can. Be a good girl and stay here with Cecil, Kia. Oh.
Kia. Kia. Mm. Whoa. Kia. Well, what's wrong? I guess things are looking pretty messy. We don't need to come chasing us down. I know. Everything's going to be all right, Kia. We may not know what the future has in store for Crossbell. That won't change the fact that we'll always return to your side, Kia. Lloyd, that much is for certain. We always make it home even on the roughest days, don't we? So sit tight. We'll be back before you know it, Kia. Annie, Tia, Randy. Okay, be careful, everyone. Wazi has left the party. Right, informing me. Right, uh... What do we do then? Go straight over? We need to visit the Bracer Guild and see what we can learn about all of this. Or do our patrol? Ugh. I just agitated over something. It's probably more alert than usual, given everything that's going on. Keep an eye out for Kia and Cecile, okay, Zai? Woof. I had no idea Ayos' reason for having Shizuka discharged was this serious. If it truly was for the sake of her safety, then our hands are tied. Yeah, that's true. Well, then, how are things over at St. Ursula right now? I was wondering the same thing. Are Ilya and the others from the department all right? The hospital is in a state of confusion, but we're handling the patients as best we can. Fran's been recovering nicely, so we transferred her to the general ward. Inspector Donovan also regained consciousness not too long ago. Ilya has yet to wake up, though. That's unfortunate. Let's keep rooting for her to get back on her feet, then. Agreed. My prayers are with her. The hospital was in a state of confusion when I left, but we've been handling the patients as best we can. At any rate, I'll look after Kia and the building while you're gone. The situation has gotten quite dire, so please be safe out there. Um, I'm sorry, everyone, for running outside like that, I mean. It's okay, Kia. You don't have to apologize. This is an overwhelming situation to be in. It's completely normal to feel anxious. And as your guardians, putting your mind at ease is part of our role. He's right, Kia. You can always talk to us if something's on your mind. Well, there you said. We like it when you lean on us for things, you know. Okay. Thanks, guys. Be careful. I'll be waiting for you. Um, thanks for everything, guys. Be careful, okay? Sure thing. Zite's not a happy boy. We didn't even check requests before we went out. There's only one. Dangerous monster Divine Delph has been sighted in the Geofront C sector. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. Only one. I wish there was more pom pom pie for me to play. Just deal with my time, do you know what I mean? Look at the people we can't talk to now. Quite a few. Okay. I get the feeling things are going to continue spiraling even faster. Well, I mean, to be honest, the main thing... Oh, we got to rest first. Was just how long that last day was. For, for us, it was uh, like an eight-hour day. Which, you know, it had more quests in it than the average. So then you end up with the next quest. You know, the next day, you know what I mean? And then you go, ah. Ah. It all makes sense. It's a long day the day before because it's going to be a... Shorter one now? <laughs> do you want the Elder King? I don't know. Do I have to give that to something else? I don't even know. What do I even want? I have no clue what I've given you. Nyan nyan. I'll just give you fish. Make cat happy. Oh, yeah. A burn. Oh my, are you giving this to me? Thanks, cop. Make sure to put it to good use. Oh, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> sure. Well, it's getting near the end of a, an episode, a session in a certain thing. And I don't even got a book to read. So let's maybe sweep Central Square at the very least. I was about to say, maybe they'll paper. But to be honest, I think we already read it. Nita Croix is really getting bold up this whole Defense Force fiasco. Oh, so that's your new uniforms are there. Tell me this must have been in the works for a while now, too. If you ask me, I prefer if they weren't armed to the teeth. But I guess it's a little late for that now. 
Yes. Ah, God us knows how this whole mess is going to shake out. They all had, like, assault rifles, didn't they? Which is a little crazy. Guess it's this time for me to go to the casino and try to rake in some money, right? Ooh! I was wondering, considering it was a short day, where I might be able to get to. So I'm not allowed to have out anywhere apart from mine, so that means I can go to the cathedral. It's a short sweep day, too. Those orbital cars with the big screens look super cool. Daddy would have loved them. Daddy said he's busy because of his job at City Hall. Mummy's not busy, though. The tour company she works for is on vacation. I suppose it was inevitable, but I've seen almost zero tourists this past week. Makes me wonder how else Crossbell's going to change down the road. I suppose it was inevitable, but I've seen almost zero tourists yet. You know, things close. The Crossbell Defense Force is intended not for offensive measures, but for protection. We're different from those Imperial and Republican Army savages, so please be at ease. Wow. Uh, party line much already? We're different, are we? Crossbell and in independence, eh? This is as serious as it gets. It's not exactly a cheery atmosphere, but maybe I'll make some new balloons just in case we wind up getting a new festival out of this. <laughs> what the hell, man? I guess that's business news, but still. President Croix really knows how to stoke a fire with his words. We may have a tough road ahead of us, but after hearing that speech, I'm ready to take a stand along to my fellow crossbellons. It comes as no surprise that declaring independence has put a square in the crosshairs of Erebonia and Calvert. Unfortunately, as a result, our store may not be able to carry products from the Rhineford or Verne companies anymore. Ah, what a mess. Yes, trade does shut down. They may call themselves a defense force, but just how much defending will they be able to do for us once things really get rough? Now, oh, who needs them anyway? As far as I'm concerned, the only CDF around here is going to be me, the Chaco Defense Force. Did you hear President Croix's speech? It was so moving and powerful. I wound up getting so entranced that I forgot to breathe a couple of times. No. We haven't bought these master cords yet, so I probably do need to, like, buy these at some point. I probably do need to get the money for these now. I wasn't expecting everything to unravel so quickly. We're going to be in for a bumpy ride, that's for sure. Let me know if you guys need any orbit tuning before things really hit the fan. Thanks, Wendy. Yeah, we probably do. Depends. Can we make better courts yet? Like a cast free would be amazing. Would give some quite nice values as well, do you know what I mean? We can make a hit free, but I don't even know if I need that. We've got an EP cut free and we own one. Got some good values of its own, I guess. Got slots to do too. See, I was kind of expecting maybe another EP cut would cut drop down the line, but maybe I'd be worth making one. But so I can always do that to next time. Might want to do some farming, but there's nowhere to farm. Wait, oh no, wait a second. There's the geofront still. Probably the geofront still. Last slot. Last slot. Last slots. Okay, there you go. We've got a state of play now. Everyone's slots are fully unlocked. Well, the four of us. And we'll try to regain some sepith, maybe? Oh, no. oh, yeah. Well, why would he be anymore? Everyone's getting out now. We've declared independence and all. I know, right? That new uniform, red and grey, is so totally its colour. No matter what happens, I think we're going to be just fine with Ariot around. Oh, Ariot is so hot. Like, totally. <laughs> Goddamn. Turns out many of the tragedies in our past were the result of Erebonia and Calvert feuding behind the curtain. Does that mean their spies have been in our home state all this time, locking horns right under our noses? I haven't given it much thought, but if it's true, then they're beyond forgiveness. I doubt there's a paper. The 
president had a point. There have been a lot of inexplicable incidents in our history. It's just like he said. As Quasbellans, we bear some of the responsibility for overlooking it all this time. They started limiting trains trying to pass through Crossbell early this morning. I hear that by the end of the day, they're going to suspend railway services entirely. After taking stock of it all, I'm more concerned about a war breaking out than I am about lost profits. Yep. A storm is coming. <laughs> Sophia returned home to Rema Ferry the day after the referendum. I doubt she ever expected things in Crossbell would come to this. Well, at least she won an award. <laughs> But her family's been worried sick about her for a while now, so I'm glad she got out while she still had the chance. Sophia did promise that she'd come back to Times one of these days. I know there are a lot of other things to worry about right now, but hoping that we'll be able to work together again helps keep me going. It's only been a week since the referendum and already the situation has spiraled out of control. I never could have imagined this. This raid I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if something terrible were to happen as a result. I need to entertain every possible idea I can think of to keep this department store afloat. Yikes. <laughs> Republican government issued an evacuation notice to Crossbell. All Calvanian citizens are to return immediately. People said they've been threatening the use of force, so it's not hard to guess what's going to happen next. But as far as I'm concerned, Crossbell is home to the most precious person in my life, Janetta. So I've made my decision. No matter what ends up happening, I'm staying put right here in Crossbell City. Come what may. No matter what, I had to be here to protect Janetta. Yeah, we got given these issues. Issue 9 and Special Edition. Interesting. Mum? Did you hear that we're on the brink of war? How does this even happen? I'm so anxious I could collapse. I have to do whatever it takes to keep Keen safe. Maybe it's just my experience in retail taking over, but I usually try to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. As for what I've concluded, there's no way for me to sugarcoat this. President Croix's speech was completely irrational. Yep. Yeah. It's a uh, cult of personality has been unleashed. Oh, it's beginning to feel more and more like we slipped into a dream or perhaps a nightmare. That speech caught me by surprise. Still, President Croix and Secretary of Defense McLean's commitment to it assuaged my initial feelings of doubt. I'm ready to put my fullest faith in those two. Are you? Like, really, really, though? Maybe I should buy the Mishy hat for Lloyd. Southbrook said he's going to stay in Crosswell just for me. I'd never force him to put himself at risk like that, but to tell you the truth, the fact that he did anyway has me head over heels. Well, there's one good thing. Will this new defense force truly be able to protect Crossbell? I want to believe in Arios. Really, I do. But if both Calvin and Erebodius decide to invade us at once, what other choice would we have but to surrender? Unless, could it be that we have some kind of trump card up our sleeve? That would have to be the thing, really? <laughs> You're super outgunned. Fancy new uniforms ain't gonna cut it. We have nothing to worry about so long as President Croix and Secretary McLean are here to watch over us. Even if we have to fight to protect our new independence, it'll be well worth it. Mum said Arios quit the braces to be the new Secretary of Defense, whatever the heck that is. Just means he's even more crazy strong than before now, right? I don't know that. <laughs> I'd imagine his strength would be the same. But I guess considering it's more military, you might see less of a bracer fighting Arios and more of a uh, fight to kill Arios. You never know. The IBC is freezing international assets. I never thought Mayor Croix would resort to such drastic measures. Nevertheless, it is as he said. We may not have another chance to stand up for ourselves like this. All right, one last place on the street then. Sving set. Regular railroad service shut down this morning. This is a serious concern for us. What alternatives do we have for importing ingredients? I can't shake this ominous feeling in my bones, but there's not much we chefs can do to save for what we do best. Still, how are we supposed to import ingredients now? Serious concern, that. 
Did you hear President Croyce's speech? Wow, talk about impressive. Felt prouder and more courageous with every word he spoke. Nationalistic sentiment. Rousing them. The IBC has frozen all foreign assets, and as of this morning, regular train and bus services have been suspended. The situation is prime for a crisis. I can already smell it brewing on the horizon. I intend to make keep the restaurant open for as long as I can, but to be honest, I'm more than a little concerned. I bet. I was impressed by the president's address. Don't get me wrong. Moistos right. What's happening is a little suspicious and a lot worrisome. President Dieter Kreuz and Secretary of Defense Ariel McLean of the independent state of Crossbell. Sounds nice and official on paper, sure, but what I want to know is will they actually be able to protect us? They'll be getting to pay if it all turns out to be posturing. Independent state, President, Secretary of Defense. They sound nice and official on paper, but can they really protect us? Yeah. I agree with President Croyce's address. 100%. Crosswell is our home. We have to show our support and do our part however we can. So we're independent now. Well, I'm all for it. Consequences be damned. Just the thought of us finally being free makes my heart swell up with courage. And that is Central Square. So the first part of this smaller sweep is now done. The bigger section of talking when you think about it. But in a Crossbell that is now the independent state of Crossbell, with no book to send you off to sleep. Only worries. We wonder, what is about to happen? What is about to happen to us? Because we're going to have to start wearing the uh, shiny new uniform soon. That's a bit... Yes. Yes. It's a bit... Yes. But we've got the rest of Crossbell to check out. We've got one quest on the board. I'm sure that somewhere, somewhere there might be more awaiting. So let's find out next time on Trails to Azure as we continue chapter four, day two, and see if war is literally about to be declared. Let's find out next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.